show you and then I will tell you how it is done. Once upon a time there were two jacks. Sorry, did I say two? There were actually four jacks. These four jacks one day Stop. 
the storytelling. So you really gotta sell it. You know, you uh, get into that story. Say you have the four jacks. Okay, you put them on the table or whatever, maybe in their hand. And you take the cards. And this is when you do the dirty work. So as you're talking, you know, you're talking about the four jacks and how they're gonna rob a bank or whatever. And as you're doing that, you're just going to count one, two, three cards, okay? You're going to count one, two, three cards, and what you're going to do is you're going to get your pinky, and you're just going to put it on top of this corner right here, okay? So, you're going over, count one, two, three, and then have a bit of room. those cards back and then square up okay so now you'll have a little pinky break on those top three cards so just practice that for a little second you know, it should take like a minute okay it can be sloppy just uh misdirect and talk so you're talking you count one two three get your pinky in there square square up the deck As I said, this is a fundamental thing. If you want to learn magic, it's really not hard to do. So just practice that. Of course, you don't want to count one, two, three. You want to be more subtle. So just pass them off, get your pinky, square up, done. So in performance speed, you can start, I have the four jacks. And once upon a time, these jacks decided to rob a bank. Okay, so cover the action with a big action, as they say. Next, after you uh, have that, make sure this stays there. Pick up your jacks and place them on top of the deck. So now your pinky will be under, what, like seven cards? Come over with your right hand and pick up that whole packet. So now you're actually picking up seven cards rather than just the four jacks. So again, get your break. Pick up the jacks. And pick up those cards. Now, obviously, you don't want them to know that you've just taken more cards, so you really gotta make sure that you don't show too much. Okay? So, next, once you have this, Oh, so you don't want to show that, obviously. So make sure you maintain this, but try not to be too stiff, you know? Okay. So now you're holding this, and you're just going to slide a card off and flip it over. Okay, really easy to do. Slide and do this for three of the jacks. And then you're left with the last one. Instead of doing the same move, you're actually just going to place that packet on top. Okay, so what you've just done is these aren't the jacks, these are the random indifferent cards, and then you have the jacks. So what you've just done is you've set up a, a little decoy. So, once more, get your break. Set these on top, lift up that whole packet, and just count each one, say the jack of clubs. The Jack of Hearts, the Jack of Spades, and the Jack of Diamonds. And now you begin, you say the Jack of Diamonds just waited right here. And then what you're doing is you're essentially slotting random cards into different parts of the deck. So you can say one Jack went to uh, near the bottom to uh, rob the money or the cash. The next one went to rob the gold on the second floor. And the third went to the fourth to get the diamonds. So these are just random cards. Obviously, you don't want to show that. And then, on top, you actually have the jacks. So, and you say the final jack waited on top. Okay. So, push them all in. Do a little magical gesture, and then you say they all made it safely to safety. And that is
is the trick. So believe it or not, that is one of the harder ones I'll be showing you, but nonetheless, it's a fantastic trick. So, one more time, very quickly, before we uh, teach you the next one. Boy, these, these take a while to show, but it's totally worth it. Get your three. Get your jacks. Sorry about that, that was just my mom. And then you can just show like this. And of course you are, you've basically done an insane effect of mentalism and our brainwave. So now for something uh, very, very simple and something which will literally take you about half a second to practice. We'll start off with giving the cards a bit of a mix. Okay, a bit of a mix. And I'm going to cut the cards into four piles. It doesn't matter. The uh, spectator could make those if they wanted. 
this is a great trick. Uh, easy to do, requires no setup. Exactly. 